Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and welcome to Let's Get Scrappy Organized 2024. Um, someone had chose this title, I had asked for input um, and there was a couple so I went with, you know, one of the couples that came in. So that is what the name of this series is going to be this year and what it is about is craft room organization um, tips and tricks. Uh, we're going to go through things by detail throughout my craft room and then we will come back to it later in the year to see how it's either evolved or what changes I've made. So I'm going to give you guys like the things I love in my craft room, the things that I want to change and then hear from you. So we're going to do this in segments and it's going to be throughout the whole year and I do challenge everyone to do the same. Let's get in our craft rooms. Let's clean them up, declutter, even if it's a little bit each week. If you said, I'm gonna spend 30 minutes each week, which I know could just be sometimes just cleaning our desk, but I'm gonna try really hard to clean up my mess. I'm really bad about cleaning up my mess at the end of the night, which is really end of the morning because I'm always crafting till like two, three, four in the morning. Um, and I'm, I'm bad at, I start like one project and I don't want to put it away because I want to do something else, but something else pops in my head and I have to get that started. I am really bad at that, but this is a new year. We're going to try it. Don't hold your breath because I know how I am with crafting, but let's see. But I do, I love my room when it's clean. Um, I always, every year do a spring cleaning. So... Um, I like just come in, I clean all my tools, clean, um, dust, all that good stuff. And I still have a lot more to do. This is not ready yet. So this is going to be just kind of an ongoing decluttering, etc. So what we're going to do in this video is start with my desk and you guys, I'm just going to tell you if it, if the phone's shaky or I'm making you dizzy, I'm really sorry. Um, the device that I got to hold my phone is not working. Um, it's um, like a stabilizer and there's a noise during the video so that's not working and I don't know how to do voiceover so I can't use that as of right now but here is my desk and my husband all of a sudden now is watching some loud movie with a whole bunch of gunfire I don't know what's going on outside these doors so we're just gonna start here we might only end here. I'm going to try to keep these videos to about 30 minutes. So I moved my chair out of the way. This is where I sit. I yes, I have an old school heater, but can I please tell you old school stuff works. It's the new stuff that does not work. I've had this heater with me. I had it when I worked um, in my offices and I want to say I've had it for like 20 years and now you go and buy one and you're lucky if they last a year. But usually in the space down there is my paper bag that is for recycle. I moved it out of my way for the purpose of this video. We are going to start down low and work our way up if your girl can get back up once we get down here. <laughs> because I might not be able to. But come on, let's do this together. And I'm going to show you guys things um, like, for example, behind my cleaning supplies is a box. I don't even know what's in there. We're going to go in it. I haven't been in it for years. So I want to see what's in there. Do I obviously need this stuff or redo it so I use it? Because again, that's going to be another series this year um, of using at least one new item from my craft room stash that um, I, I didn't just like purchase. But something that I have not used and just at least we got to give it a try. So that'll be coming up too. But yeah, we're going in all the drawers. I don't know how I'm going to do it with um, holding the phone, but we're going to do this together. Okay, so in my main video, just starting over here. This is all my chipboard, my um, like matting cardstock. So meaning my lightweight matting. I have my um, Country Craft Creation 65 pound white. I have um, some of the newer Country Craft Creation colors that are in the store only right now. I don't know that they're gonna ever go on online. They're in the store only. 
So that's what those reds are. Um, and then the black, same thing. And I think I have, yeah, I have my 100 pound um, CCC in there. These are all CCC Country Craft Creations My Colors because as a design team member, I like to keep my um, that brand stuff separate so I don't accidentally use something else. Ideally, what I would like to have, I don't know if I'll be able to make it work, but I would like this whole thing to be all Country Craft Creations. So I'm just going to quickly pan over here. This is all artisan right here. Country Craft Creations Artisan cardstock. So if we pan back, you guys just get a drink. It's going to be a minute. Um, the only thing that is not Country Craft Creations is here a little bit in this one here. And then um, where my scoreboards are. But I love my scoreboard right there at my fingertips. So that's why it gets a little tricky. I don't mind moving my chipboard behind my chair. But I don't know. We're going to have to figure out the scoreboard. So that could be a little different. And this bag is just filled with black, white, tan, like craft, um, cream, basic colors, basically, cardstock scraps. What I usually do and I need to do is I go through and cut this down to either um, like sizes I use all the time or I'll go through with my like doily dies because these are basic colors you always use and I'll cut doilies or I will cut like the strips for um, bookmarks and then you could donate it to the school. That's typically what I do, but I have not done that. I did not do that all of 2023, which that is not the norm. Then things I want. So if you guys have suggestions for me, please let me know. But things I want is I need to get cord clips for all like the cords hanging. I can't stand that. Um, I got some new um, plugs that um, let me come up here that click onto my desk. I love that, but cords are hanging everywhere and I can't stand that. So I need to find which I'm sure I can find on Amazon somewhere. But if you guys already have some and you have a link, let your girl know. Um, so I always keep my cleaning supplies because I'm always cleaning my desk. I can't stand a dirty desk. It might be messy, but it's not dirty. Um, so I always have my wipes and my paper towels here. Now here is, we're getting in here. And when I clean my room, I this used to face that way, but then I built these cubbies. So now I turned it this way, so I did make some changes. That's why it took me so long to even get my craft room ready to go. But I don't even know what's in this sucker. I mean, I kind of know what's in it, but I don't actually know what's in it. It was a to-go bag when I first started. I don't even know how I'm going to get this out. Um, when I first started paper crafting, ugh, and I haven't used it since. But let's take a peeky in here. I don't want to say since. I just haven't used it for a few years. Okay, so this was a to-go <laughs> um, mat that I haven't used maybe for like a year, but I loved it. I love the size of it. I guess like once I got the score pal, um, I don't necessarily use this one anymore. I'm not throwing that away though. I have a small cutter in here. We are going to do a video on all my paper trimmers and all my cutting machines <laughs> you guys will see the crazy but again a lot of these things like i think i got this at a sale somewhere this was dirt cheap somewhere but i hate it when they're white and it's probably from the sun because it was facing towards the window the sun probably did i hate that that's so gross i really do not like white or buying anything white in the craft room i can't stand it even like i hate that i had to buy my drawers in white because I already had some in white. I would have preferred black. So yeah, I have a, really, why is this? Oh my God, I don't know if I can get it out. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I can't get it out, it's stuck. It's hard to do with one hand. Okay, there, is it tucked in? Nope. I might have to put you guys down for a second. This is gonna be a funny video. Okay, let me see if I can hold you with this hand. Oh yeah, that's much better. So I'm holding you now with my left hand <laughs> and pulling it up. You just can't see it. Okay. Oh, I'm still stuck. Is that it? Yeah. Why do I have this 
inside a box. It's just right now an extra box. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to show you guys what's in this and I might just put it right back how it was until I can get time to come and clean it out. But we have like a travel light in here. Another travel. I got this like, you know, in some uh, yard. Yeah, see, 50 cents. Why not? It was 50 cents. I doubt it works right now. Nope. So it needs to have some batteries, but I have a fold up light. Oh, one of my favorite little rulers that I haven't used. Oh, I got a Copic in here. <laughs> I literally have not been in here. I got all kinds of pens that do me no good sitting in here. I love this bag though. This was a nice bag. I have an empty bottle in case, you know, I need a bottle. This was, okay, I was making a Lego card at one point. It's all dusty in here. Oh, this was all stuck together. I don't even know if these glues are still good. This was before my art glitter glue find because then I always used Tombow and then they like changed it or something because it didn't work good anymore. I don't like Tombow. I know some people love it and still use it. I don't like it. And then, oh, well, why not have another mat? Because you need two. This obviously was a little kit. Came with like scissors, the ruler, and maybe like a another tool. I don't know what the other tool was. But it was turquoise, so I had to buy it. Plus, it was that Tuesday morning, I'm sure. And it was cheap. These are card bases. Don't need those in there. Oh my gosh, are these actual inks? <laughs> Don't need those in there. So now you guys see why I need to do a de stash. Perfectly fine inks. I will never use these. I also have the Tim Holtz Little Minis Distress. And I have obviously the big Stampin' Up! inks that I never use either. I'm never going to use these. So these are just, I'm going to like, this week I'll go through this bag, this box, and I'm going to de stash. I don't know how I'm going to do these de-stashes. I'm trying to figure it out because I don't want to do a whole bunch of individual sales unless I have like a yard sale that is all, um, you know, crafty supplies. Otherwise, it needs to be by like bulk, you know, the $15, $17 medium weight bins type of thing. I think that was it. Oh, we got another pen. I'm scared I'm going to find like some dirt or something in here. Another pen. And, oh, because you need another glue pen. <laughs> this is going to be like, have you guys seen the TikTok with, um, uh, oh my gosh. I want to say Jennifer Aniston, but it's not that. Jennifer Ben Affleck's wife. Mm-hmm ex-wife I can't remember but she was going through her bag and she kept pulling out nuts because she obviously likes nuts oh what are these tools oh I got some pokies <laughs> didn't even know those are in there I got some other things a file and some scissors yeah emergency you know never know yep have some brads I have so many freaking brads oh my gosh wait till you guys see that video Pins. I always have pins with me um, for like when I, you know, my ribbon, I want to make sure it stays closed. I don't think I ever needed this many pins in my bag. This unsnaps. I'm telling you, I do love this bag, but I don't know where I'll ever use it. I have some really old paper in here for some reason. What do you guys do with your scraps? Do you cut them down? Would you just toss something like this? Um, I have a lot of scraps I can cut into six by six. There's no way I can use all the scraps because I've been really bad this year about using mine. Like I said before, usually I would um, cut them down to bookmark size, etc., and donate them to schools, but I just, I have way too much this year. What would you do with these? Who's the one who tosses them, closes their eyes, does a little recycle? And I think I might, I don't know if I still have some stamping stuff in here. I really need to try to use this bag, but I bought like two guys in, in my closet, I bought two more stuff, yep. Still got those ready to go. Oh, in case I need to do a tea. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. We're just gonna just close our eyes and put this stuff back. Because <laughs> I don't want 
You guys, I don't even want to craft right now because I don't want to mess up my room. I'm scared. I don't want to mess it up. It's so pretty. And like I said, it's not done yet, but it's still pretty. Okay. So I'm going to put all this stuff back until I figure out <laughs> what the heck. Pretty much this whole thing could be given away. Meaning be stashed. Okay, let's come back in here. Okay, now I see a lot of videos, and yes, I'm on the floor, but you should not have to crawl in some deep places. This looks deep, but it's not really, and this is stuff that I do not need every day. So whatever is under your desk, way in the back corner, far as if you're going to get on your hands and knees and crawl to it, um, make it be stuff that you don't need to get to all the time we're gonna go in here i'm gonna tell you guys usually my drawers are pretty clean and organized it's my my floor that is a hot mess but i have not organized drawers for a really long time so i know like this one's messy because i bought stuff and have just thrown things in there so i'm trying to see the best way i am my head is under the desk okay so in here yep so this is mostly it um ended up no these are what was added in here so i'm just going to take these out because i don't know if you saw one of my hauls but i have this place around here in washington that does this like kind of a you know a scrapbooking garage sale type of thing twice a year and i always get great stuff cheap and i like score on these things you guys know like these things can add up when you like, just look at all that look at all that okay so normally they're not in here so all i ever had in here before i added these was just fiskers blades which again i don't even use my fiskers not that i'm getting rid of well i think i have like three or four um but i got these this whole thing for three dollars you had to do it right whole thing and i okay i just have to say like this is gonna be a long video you guys sorry um the main reason I'm really going through my room, this is a sad part of the story, is I've seen, I've gone to a couple and I've seen a lot of like estate sale, craft room sales, like on, you know, Facebook groups, the, um, what is it, the scrapbook buy and sell, whatever, and people selling all their mom's stuff. So first, my first thought is like, oh my gosh, I do not want my family left with having to clean this room first to even go through it to sell it because even getting rid of it is a lot. Now, my husband has been told if something happens to me, he can't come in this room. My friends already know they're in charge of my room <laughs> because he will just throw it away and I'm not joking. He would do that. He wouldn't care. We know, we know the value of our crafty rooms. He doesn't care. Um, but I just was like, you know what? It's time to purge. It's time to clean up. I could still have all my fun stuff and still hoard some things. But time to let some things go. But as you guys can see, like I just have kind of all of these. And I really like things categorized so I know where to go. But this is my big ones. But then I also have something hanging on a door that you guys will see later. In another video when we get to the Graphic 45 Horde Vault. That's a whole nother video. I don't even know if I can fit all this back in here, but we're going to try. So because I didn't have room for that stuff, I just shoved it in here. And that's what I don't want. So these drawers are going to have to get redone. And can we close it? Let's try. And I'm switching hands, so this video I know is janky. Janky, janky video time. This, well, I will keep. I love this. This works perfect for me when I need my P-Touch. I have all my P-Touch stuff all together. All categorized. Eventually, I'll come and label things once we reset the room. This is all, oops, excess, like, stamping supplies. But... I'm never going to use any of this stuff back here. Absolutely none of it. These are extra, again, little little ink pads. I'm never using them. I've had them for years. 
because they're cute. They're little. I probably got them on sale somewhere. Never using them. These I will use. Um, this I forgot now. You have to remind me how to use it because I feel like I, I lost a piece to this. I know it's to line up the stamps, but I also have two Misties. But this is just cute, so I have to keep that. But all these other things, these I will keep. These are just extra plates. I just, I haven't stamped for a while, except some sentiments. And a lot of these things were like in some like lots on Ebay's when I was going, like getting other things. Those like came with it. I don't know. I might end up, I don't know. I have a lot of inks upstairs. And for the most part, I just use my um, distress oxides and distress inks. Okay. So that's that here this is just just a cute little fun thing so it's just I put my score tape like backings in there since I don't put them in my recycle and then I empty it out but it just pulls off like that if I need to this back here we aren't going through because I don't even know what's in here it's a whole bunch of notebooks but then down here is a whole bunch of crap because <laughs> it has to be because I haven't looked in it for like maybe three years, maybe right after COVID. I think after COVID or during COVID, I cleaned my craft room out like thoroughly, but I don't know what's in there for the past couple years. So that's another thing we're going to, you know, dig deep, go in get rid of. These are all, again, notepads, pads that I've been given, but it's like my country craft creations design team book. This is my just total every like YouTube thing I've ever done. Um, and let me just show you guys. I also have in that one, which is just, you know, a little tip tip. I could save that for a video, but I'm not gonna. It's not that big of a tip. But you guys can see, like I have worn this baby down. This was given to me by one of my coworkers that I love that had passed away from cancer. So I don't care how worn it gets. You know me. I could always cover this up with some pretty paper if I wanted to. But I had started this like when, you know, like with my Cricut. I loved this method. So I, if I cut something out on my Cricut and wanted to save what the size was, what cartridge it was from, whatever, I just taped it in here and it was easy for me to go back to. I obviously haven't done it in a long time. But just in case you like to do that stuff, obviously that tape doesn't work. <laughs> um, it's just, it's helpful. But this is literally filled, for the most part, with all my stuff. But yeah. Okay, so let's put that back. So again, a lot of notepads. Look at my chub chub arm. That looks really chubby. Um, <laughs> squirrel. Oh my gosh. Okay. Then we're going to go into these drawers right here. Now, this unit is stupid. <laughs> yes, I said stupid. It's from Michaels. They don't carry it anymore. I love how thin and small the drawers are. So this is my main drawer. This is what I go into all the time. Um, this is my, like I said, my main drawer. Now just wait till we get to this next one, which I love it's going to be hard for me. I need to get rid of it. But look, they both slide out at the same time because there aren't actual sliders. They just stack these things on top of each other. That is so stupid. <laughs> so stupid. There's no, like, there's nothing in here to keep this one. They are stacked literally on top of each other. But I absolutely, I would have loved, like, you know, a unit that had thin drawers like this, like a whole bunch of them, just these thin little drawers for wood block stamps. I know no one's using them anymore, um, but these are ones that, like, I'm never getting rid of these. I just, for me, again, it comes down to art. Like, maybe some of these floral ones I'll get rid of, you know, over here, but the little hummingbirds, no. I just, I just, you know, these were some of my favorites that I just kind of kept, and I can't, I can't show you the whole drawer because the drawers are stacked on top of each other. It's so stupid. Ugh, I hate it. So, again, whatever's in this second drawer can't be something that I need all the time because it's a pain in the butt to pull open. The other drawer is fine. The third one, I don't know why. 
it works better. But I don't, I don't need to look at these anymore. I think I need to find another home. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to pull this out because it'll be easier to show you what's in the bottom. Ooh. And I need to clean this. Um, oh, it's going to tip because nothing's on top of it. But this is just all like my extra. These really shouldn't be in here. These should be like wherever I put my stamp stuff because just today I was watching, I don't know, someone else's craft room video while I was getting my nails done. I was like... I feel like I have some brushes that I got on sale somewhere <laughs> and yes I do have one set I've never used them but I got them they were clearance I think at a craft store that was going out of business um this is all gonna fall but as you guys can see I just have extra um things this is you know my tool that I love so much this goes here anything that is extra goes there have some extra pens. I will never need any of them. Oh, yes, I will. This is a, a fringe pair. I think I have a pink pair, too, that I'll never use because I have these. Um, so those are somewhere. And then for some reason, I don't know why, but I have... Oh, this is broken, but I kept it, trying to hope to one day glue it back together. It belongs to some little pad. This belongs in one of the scoreboards. I don't know why it's in there. Um, I think this was my first, my first uh, bone folder, and the tip is like broken off. But Martha Stewart, I got a lot of Martha Stewart. I don't even know where I got it all from. These are just all just kind of extra things. I always have extra. As you guys. Yeah, I'm a hoarder of problems, issues. It's all good. Okay, I'm stuck the dart back in there. We're gonna organize this later. Let's put this drawer back if I can lift it Ugh, with one hand. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I need this arm. <laughs> oh my god, these videos are gonna be comedy. Okay, I'm gonna switch hands with the phone. So I do love, like I said, everything I use on a daily and projects has to be in a twirl distance of my chair. So my chair sits here. I got all my good stuff ready to go. Okay, so then in this unit, which maybe I'll get my chair. Well, let's start down here. So this is what I want to just kind of go through, reorganize. But these are all... Well, it was all charms and buttons. And then, I mean, I still have some charms that don't fit in the drawer. Now I have drawers that those these big charms can actually fit in. Ooh, I might have to change that up. Um, but again, I like saving these. I put these on projects. I put these in the middle of flowers. So just things to have. Um, these are all the big charms that will not fit in my, wouldn't fit in my little drawer bin. But now I have the bin that is bigger, has bigger, you know, drawer openings, pulls. I don't even know. Back here, oh, I'm never using this stuff. I need to purge. Hold on, I'm stuck. Okay, is it stuck or is it just, I can't tell. I think that's just maybe as far as it goes. Without me pulling it out. No, it should come out further. I am stuck on something. Hold on. Oh, I can't feel it though. No, it should come out. Come out. Come out. Okay, that's good enough. But I, again, back here is um, buttons. I don't know why I have these wood things in here. I have some other wood things everywhere else. I don't know why they're back there. <laughs> I'm never gonna use this. I'm never gonna use all these things. More buttons. Bow bunny. I'll never use these, but I got it because I really like <laughs> those, like top three. Well, even the little ones, but the little fairies. These I would use. These don't belong in here. These should be like in my these don't belong in there. <laughs> those should be in my metal drawer. 
but this is supposed to basically like um, uh, mostly buttons and charms and then I have some flares I mean I have great stuff I just have too much too much so like this drawer I pretty much go in here just for the front half for the buttons and um, some charms that's pretty much it so like this is buttons I keep all my iPhone for all iPhone users I keep my iPhone boxes and I use them throughout my craft room yes I do I uh, know they're great sturdy boxes this is the drawer that is kind of a hot mess right now so it was just a tag drawer let me check this out but then my metal drawer was getting too full so I had two buttons too full to have this in the other button drawer but I love this thing I think Pam gave us this thank you Pam um, aka froggy love her um, this is yeah this was just a bunch of tags I'm never gonna use these I, I just I need to just get rid of them I'm never gonna use them I don't even know I don't know what do you guys what would you guys do with it and then I'm just gonna stick all this back in here for now but these are all just some metal things you know, like filigrees all that good stuff I'm gonna stick these in there for now we're gonna go through and clean out these drawers this is my metal drawer I do not have too much stuff so at one point it was just neatly organized these are all rings these are weird <laughs> metal embellishment thing. This is keys. Just a bunch of keys. What is this? Oh, more weird metal things. I don't even know what. Like, I just, all these keys were just, like, left somewhere at work, I think. And I was just like, okay, everyone, like, disappeared, didn't want those. And they didn't go to anything. But just all, like, metal things. Oh my gosh. And I don't even know because I have some of these metals in my actual graphic 45 for vault, so I probably should filter those into there. Ugh, stuff is stuck. It's stuck, it's stuck, it's stuck. I like, you know, like I had to, like stuff was cheap a Tuesday morning. Why not build your collection and then when you need it, you're good. Some more. I love these for like um, Father's Day projects and like for fishing scrapbooks. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Or at least I think it's cute. More graphic 45 stuff. I think this is um, clips. What is this? Can you guys see? Yep, those claw clips. No, not claw clips. What are they? Bulldog clips? Is that what those are called? I got them because they're pretty and they were on clearance. They're dirt cheap, but I've never used them. We will come back in and organize these. It's going to be fun to have a reveal towards the end of the year. Probably like before Christmas we'll do a reveal of all the things that got accomplished or and or changed. Um, I do love... Now it's going to be hard to get this in. I do love this drawer. Um right by me because again it's thin drawers and I could do so now this one might give you guys a heart attack these are all paper clips and you know when you have a drawer filled with paper clips that's a problem these are like the ones because of course I was in retail so I had to have hanger paper clips all my jumbos <laughs> I can't even know if I can show you guys all this do you guys like seeing it like this all the detail of it I don't know I'm never getting to all these obviously but I got them some big ones and then I have like these jumbos which I love smaller ones down in here Ugh. more jumbos and then just different shapes so I think these are doodle bugs yeah I have doodle bugs that should go on my fall bin baby 
This is, well, okay, out of the way. Camera, bows, hearts. I think I have birds. Back here somewhere. I love these little babies. Um, our little, let's see if I can get out. This is a jumbo, pink and black. But to have like the anchors. These are all Tuesday morning things. I love these. I don't know what this one. Oh, they're both elephants. So I have the gold elephant and then I have the tail elephant. What is this? I don't know what this one is. Oh, more paper clips. Okay. It's hard to put things back and hold a camera. Woo! It's hurting my back. Okay. We already passed our 30 minutes. But I want to get through showing you guys at least the bottom part of my desk area. So even if like my floor is messy, as you guys can see for the most part, my drawers are usually clean and organized. Just like I said, this year, a little less organized <laughs> as far as just some things are just kind of tossed in there. Or I just have too much. This drawer is all doilies. So some of these are ones, you know, that are, have, I mean, most of this drawer is bought doilies. These are ones that I've made with scrap paper that I could just reach for with my favorite doily dies. I have um, favorite, you know, punches, and again, with scraps, I'll just go punch a whole bunch of something, so if I need it, I have it, or I could gift it. Um, these are all doilies by color of ones that I've cut, Then I have some doodle bug ones. I hate that the drawer's not coming out of the way, but I have some larger ones back here. Oof, just so you guys see, this one is my favorite. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a bow bunny one. I cannot find it. If you guys know where these are, if you have any that you don't want, please let me know. It's a big one. It's like, I think like four by four inches. It's pretty big, but I, I love that one and I can't find it anymore. And I only have a few left. Oh, maybe I only have one left because usually they're like right there. Ooh, I think I'm down to only one. That's so sad. That's it. I have hearts in here, which they really should be in the Valentines. Um, but yeah, that is it. I mean, it's not, oh no, no. Gosh, I'm really digging for, yep, nope, they're gone. I don't think that's it. That's another doily. Oh, that's sad, I only have one left. I am making a mess of my drawers. Okay. Oh, we're almost done with this unit. Oops, I forgot some paper clips. For clippies. Okay, and then I really need to stand up or at least kneel a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, that's difficult. <laughs> so, okay, back down. I have my Misty tools right here. I, I try to use every inch without using every inch. In other words, I don't want my craft room going all the way to the ceiling because that's overwhelming. But I try to, I don't know, I try really hard to use my space. This is, yes, like enamel dots, jimmies, all that good stuff. And this is why you guys have heard me before say I need to never buy another set. Although, my issue is I don't have enough white. <laughs> I need white enamel dots, which is very weird. I have some that are in, intertwined with colored enamel dots that come with collections, but I don't know. Oh, I'm about to pass out. That made me dizzy bending down like that. So this is kind of, just wait till you guys see the other door. This is my excess. Um, like I said, all, now I'm never going to use those. I need to just, I, I just got so much stuff from craft. Um, places that went out of business and as well as like I said this place that has a sale every two no twice a year 
These are my favorite. I love these. Jilly, or these Jilly Bean, I think is the name. Um, yeah, Jilly Bean. I have a couple packs left. But I absolutely love these. I don't know why. I just think they're fun and cute. And like with the like lodge type of scrapbook paper or the um, cabin looking ones with the buffalo check. I love having the wood pieces. I just love, love, love. So I have all these in here. I've had forever. These, I mean, I'm full. Like I said, it's full back in here. All kinds of goodness. All kinds of goodness. All just a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. So that is my one drawer. So I don't like that I have right now enamel dots, jewels, etc. I don't know how this was in here. In two, no, three different spots. So that bugs me. So I want to figure something out. I'm not sure what the, the solve is, but I have a lot. Okay, so now we're done there. I showed over here ooh, in my main video um but again these are just swatches that i have of cardstock you could always just make your own again a tip tip that i have shared especially with country craft creations is um with your when you have retreats and everything because not everyone has the money to go buy one of each paper and then make a, a swatch you can either go in with a friend or a few and make swatches together as a group. Or when you get my color cardstock or the glamour glitter, you know, um, paper, when you have a scrap, cut it into just like a, it could be a one by one, a two by two, one by two, punch a hole in it, and then you have a swatch started. You got those with your retreat, so you don't have to spend extra, all that good stuff. But I just have these all up here with these. I love this. I don't love this as much because I didn't used to have this on here like that. It was like this, but this is my swatch for Country Craft Creations um, uh, seam binding. I, again, with the retreat boxes, whatever color I didn't, you know, I would pull the color from there and take, as you guys can see, like half an inch of the seam binding and tape it because look at some of these colors look totally different than the color that's on there. So I did that or I bought one yard of the colors I was missing so that one I could have a scrap and then have some in my stash. But I love using the inside. These are all things I have to grab. Usually my hot glue gun is over here too. Um, but I just have had it out. But I don't, this is the one thing that I don't like is this hanging over this. So I want to redo that to fix it because I'm always grabbing my foam tape, which I'm hardly ever grabbing this. So I got to figure that little duty out. Um, okay, now let's go over here and we're at 43. So I guess these videos will be an hour long. That's what we're going to do. Okay, let me make sure there's nothing personal in here. <laughs> I mean, you can still see it. This is just slid under here. I keep some files. That is not for my fingernails. That is for um, just projects, nubbins, all that good stuff. Like when you have chipboard. These are all things that are necessity, except for I don't even know what's in the back of this. But just so you, this is a mess right now. Usually I don't have it this messy. And I don't have flowers in it. Oh, here's some flowers. Okay, let's take those out. So... All my tools that I use all the time, these need to go somewhere else because they're in my way. So I'm going to find another spot. Plus, I haven't used the TV forever. So until I use the TV, they're going away. But these are just all like the scissors I use, all my scoring tools, all the good things. Oh, let me stand up. This will be better. Um... So yeah, just all the things that I get to all the time. So you guys can see I have all these. And they go in the same spot always. I always have to have rubber bands around me all the time. If you've seen my hair, I have lots of it. And it goes up and down 24-7. Um, just some clippies, my chapstick, um, more clips calculator, 
Just things I get to. I don't know why this is in here. I don't even know what's in the back back here. There's some little glues, but I never use that. So we will be cleaning that out, but I love this. I'm not changing that. Pretty much everything around my chair, I like for the most part. I just need to maybe update a couple things. And here, love this, but it is full as you can see, but this is all my foam. So I have like foam strips, all foam, foam, foam. And then um, just so you guys can kind of see, these were like, um, I don't even know where I got those from, but it's all my foam stuff as well as my photo corners. So more photo corners. I buy in bulk white, black, and gold. The white I can color any color I want to to match a project with my Copic markers. And then all my foam squares are back here. Some, a lot of things I've been gifted and been hand-me-down. I need to get rid of the things I'm never ever gonna use. So that'll be my goal this year is to clean this out, you know, just a, a little bit, just to thin it out a little bit. But that's my first drawer. Now this is, my second drawer again of enamel dots these are all done by color i love this this works for me might not work for you um but i just have it all by color and i could pull it out whenever i need to for enamel dots these are not by color and i'm in gosh i don't even do a mess usually this is in two clean stacks and i don't know why it, right now it's not um, it's gonna drive me crazy, but these are just again kind of my extras. So, this drawer started out as this, and then as I kept buying, I added these in here. These are like my, my pearly gold silver. Um, but I do love this drawer, so I'm keeping it. I just need to either cut up the colors a little bit and put them in the baggies. I don't know, I gotta figure something out, but I love this. Let me know what system you guys have for that. And then this is my ink drawer. I always use this. I don't use all these colors, but I have them. <laughs> I pretty much use like three or four colors and that's it. My black, the browns, that's everything. And then, okay, we got a squat. Tiffany is squatting. Oh my God. Oh, okay. This drawer barely used but I like how organized it is. And if I need a card, I can get it. So this is all cards, you know, where you can fold these up into a, this is a card base with their matching envelopes. These are all, um, as you guys can see, mats cut into size. I, I always forget I have these and I don't use it. So this is kind of an out of sight, out of mind, but I like the system and I like being able to cut up my scraps into that. Even though like these colored ones, I would never use. I do mostly like black, white, green. And then this drawer, oh my gosh, we really gotta go through this drawer because I'm never in this. So this was my like glue drawer. I don't use, I don't use any of this stuff. I, don't, I use my glue dots. I've added some of my tips, my extra tips in here. The Tombow stuff I never use. Like these all you and again, half of this was clearance from a store going out of business. Oh my gosh. Like I need to, I don't know if you can throw this away, but I need to just throw this away. Martha Stewart glue. <laughs> I have the clear version as well. I need to just purge. See, 99 cents. Is there like a year on here? It might be that like 26, 17. That could be like February 6, 2017. I don't know. But I'm never going to use any of that. I don't know why I have some glue bottles. I don't really need them. I won't use this glue. I do love, um, I don't buy the big E6000 anymore because it dries out too fast. So I get the four, like, four pack little minis. That I love. I just used that the other day to fix something. Um, I don't know that I'll use those. Those should actually be like in the photo corner drawer because I forget that those are in there. 
I don't know what this is. Oh, glue dots. Yeah, any of the glue dots I use. Um, I might, like, these I keep, but I forget they're in here. This stuff always dries up on me. This is crazy. This is dry. I don't know. That's why I try now to get all small bottles. No, that at least is still good. Um, even like the glossy accents, small bottle because sometimes they, you know, like this is this glossy. Yeah. So like, and these were clearance. So small bottle. Um, I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't like having glues dry up. I just got to get rid of all these glues. This is a Martha Stewart. What kind of glue is this? I don't even know. Glittering glue? Glittering glue. This one is a Tombow. I don't know what that is. <laughs> this is all aliens. Does anyone, did anyone else watch that show? I know I watched it when I was younger. She had a TV show. It was a crafting TV show. But again, we're going to put this stuff back for now because these are things I'm going to do. Clean this out. This is going to be my first one around my desk. So you guys have to like stay on me to make sure that I do it. And if you have any ideas. I love, like, again, my stuff has to be categorized. So all my adhesives will always be all together. I'm not going to have, well, I can't even say that. My art glitter glue is separate <laughs> from here. <laughs> but it's only because they couldn't fit in this. But that's the, the rule. Keep it all categorized. All adhesives together. So this is my wet glue type of drawer. And then I have like my score tape drawer, which you'll see. Um, And I think that's where we're going to end. Because we're already almost at an hour. And then we'll come back. Oh, let's just make it a full hour. We're at 51. Let's come up here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I love this system. I do have just, you know, um, you can find these in the kitchen area. Just a stand to put my laptop on. These are the plugs that the clamps, they clamp, I can't talk, the plugs that will clamp onto your desk. I have two of them up here. I love it. So much easier now to plug things in if I need to. These are my go-tos, but I need to go through. I haven't touched any of that. I don't even know all these little things down in here. I need to just clean that out. Usually this is just all score tape. These are all the photos you guys see um, me show if I need to show something. Again, this is just all my go-to stuff. Thank you, Orla. She got me or made this for me. Val gave me this. This is to put your glue in, um, you know. I haven't used it yet, but it's there, but it goes like that. And I have just all the tools that I use. Everything right at my fingertips has to be at my fingertips. And then same thing here, which I'll probably, I need to clean some things out, but this is like scrap chipboard. And if I don't want to use a whole bunch of foam squares, I have that. I have my, um, uh, oh my gosh, what are these called? My glitter pins, Wink Stella's, all together. And they're all together, but I only use clear. <laughs> but I have all those colors, but they were on clearance. Um, this is junk stuff down in here. This is post-its, as if I need that many post-its. These are things I get to all the time, except I just... I don't even know where I bought this on clearance somewhere. It's some um, honey. Is that honey? Be, be some. I don't know what it is. It's not honey. What the heck is this? Wax. Wax. Beeswax. I forgot what that's even for. I don't even know why I got it. But it's here. <laughs> and then I have my pushpin pad if I need it for like my ribbon. I use the pencil sharpener. Tanya got me. Bigger score tape. This I usually fill with baby powder. I don't have anything in there right now. Have that little tool to pick up, you know, to vacuum my little desk. I don't use it. I have this, and I don't remember who gave me this. If it was you, please let me know. It was at, I think, I want to say two crafty retreats ago. I think at Country Craft Creation, uh, October 2022. Um, it's squishy. But I don't know what the heck it's for. Is it a push pin thing? Like to put pins in? 
I totally space and usually I don't do that. Up here, I am like really close, aren't I? Um, this was gifted from Orla at a retreat. This was gifted to me by a friend, which I thought was just the cutest idea ever. She's a thrifter. So she found the test tube thing at a thrift store, filled it up with all cute turquoise teal items. And of course, I'm never going to use those because I absolutely um, love the way it looks and so they've just been in there i did tiffany on tiffany really loves herself <laughs> so <laughs> because you got tiffany spelled out with some scrabble pieces tiff breakfast at tiffany's <laughs> some teas for you <laughs> i know i'm so wrong um card uh val made for me this was from orla as well and then Marguerite made me these flowers and gifted them to me. She had other colors in there. I took those out, put those in my bin, and left my um, Tilly Turquoise ones in there. And then some cute little boxes, which I've been wanting to do a tutorial on. Another card Val made for me. Um, my Copics. I got this tray. I have one. I think I still have it. One extra that... I need to get rid of out of my closet but I got this from the craft store going out of business for dirt cheap these things are usually expensive but I got it like for nothing I don't even I mean maybe a couple dollars I don't even know how much sold it to me again just some things that people have gifted me plus things that I love I need to clean it up a little bit because it's getting a little crazy these are just stamps in here that I love and I've never touched I don't know why this is um, a ribbon that means a lot to me from one of our colleagues that was, um, unfortunately, I don't even want to say it, but was, you know, shot in one of our Macy stores when we had a mass shooting. Um, so that ribbon was for her. And then I have on my wall these things for my breakfast at Tiffany's room but I think I want to take these down I'll still have some of it but I don't know I want a shelf like above here so um oh these three drawers and then we're done because we're at 57 minutes so this drawer again is tools things I go to all the time but again just keeping things together and then this is a drawer that's out of control it's sequence for the most part. I All the sequence stuff happened in one year. I didn't even have this many sequins at all. So I literally, this is just crazy. This underneath is mostly like pens and stuff. I don't know. Just crazy. I need to move. I need a better sequence section. So wait and stay tuned to see if you guys, again, have ideas. This is just a pile of junk I don't know what to do with. And then down here is just more crap that shouldn't be here because I never use it. So this should only be stuff that you get to all the time. These I've never used, obviously. Never. Never. <laughs> but it's, it's organized. If I need a Scrabble piece, I know where to go. And then these are just, you know, like thread bobbins. This is just kind of random stuff. I have the little, I don't know what they're called, wobbles. Wobbles. Um, these are tile things. I can't even remember what my friend did with these, but I, I have a pack. And then I never used this. I got them, but they're tweezers where you could change out the tips in your Copics. And then just some, again, some, that's like a sewing kit. This is just a dumb drawer. <laughs> I need to make it a more important drawer. So this stuff needs to come out of here because I don't like it. So this will for sure, ugh, I'm gonna knock stuff over. Okay, this will get redone. This won't, but maybe just cleaned up, but this is where my mini staplers are. And for some reason, I, I have a problem with hanging on to the directions of how to use a tool or a, like a scoreboard. I, I have issues with it. I'm going to try to overcome that this year. And then these are all my um, hole reinforcers. 
So again, I buy bulk and white so I can color them if I need them to match a collection, or you could just leave them white. But then I also have like colors and some glittery ones somewhere down in there. I have the whole reinforcer punch. I hate it. I never use it. Can't stand it, but it's there. There you go on that. And then here, my favorite tools, always. Um, uh, major hole punch has all different holes. This one I use the most, and then I have um, the corner stub, um, and then all the other ones down here. Um, my, what do you call it? Oh my gosh, what are these called? I want to say Big Shot. It's not that. crop -a -dial. My crop -a -dial. This would be like a tool that I would want to use this year. I have got last year, never used it um, for tags. And then all my different type of hole type punch is all there. And then all my guns are all stacked together. This works for me. I absolutely love for the most part, all this, except like some of these drawers, I just need to clean up. And in here, um, random hole punches, no, hole puncher punches in there, just a variety of different hole punches. Um, just like the style, like down here, but the kind of the old school ones, I don't even need them, but they're in there. This one is all other tools, like um, uh, needle nose pliers, the snips, all that good stuff but all things I use all the time. So please take a look at your space. If you have all the things you use all the time, right there, ready to go. And if you do, great. And if not, time to organize 2024. Let's do it. Okay, so that is the end for this one. The next video will be excuse the mess that I made with all the stuff, but the next video will be going through this side. Uh, we'll go through the drawers, we'll go through my bins, and then up there, all that good stuff. Again, let me know if you guys have questions, if you guys have ideas, um, tips, tricks, what do you love about your crafty space, etc. Would love to hear, would love to learn from you guys. Um, but stay tuned for episode two of Let's Get Scrappy Organized 2024. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give your girl a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do so that way you can see future tour videos. Okay, let's get organized, guys. Bye.